In this video, we're going to talk about how to make an electromagnet. What you need is a screw, a metal screw. It really doesn't matter what type of screw. As long as it's made up of iron metal or even steel, it's going to work. You also need copper wire. I'm using uh, the 28 gauge magnet wire. And you also need sandpaper because this wire is not conductive as long as the insulated material is on top of it. So you need to use sandpaper to remove the insulating layer so that you can get the exposed bare copper wire such that you can connect it to a power supply like a battery. So all you need to do is just take the magnet wire, wrap it around the screw, and then just remove the insulated material at the edges of the wire, and then you have an electromagnet. So let's watch a few demonstrations to see this device in action. So let's talk about how this device works. So once we connected the battery to the electromagnet, it became active, applying a magnetic force, which pulled the screw to itself. Now, once you apply a current in an electromagnet, which basically acts as a solenoid, there's a magnetic field that is created. Now, based on the direction of the current in the circuit, it can flow towards the right in the interior of the electromagnet or towards the left. But let's assume that it goes that way. Now to increase the strength of the magnetic field, there's two things you can do. Here's the formula. The magnetic field of a long solenoid is equal to the permeability of free space times the number of turns times the current that is flowing in the circuit. So one simple way to increase the strength of the magnetic field produced by the electromagnet is to increase n, the number of turns of wire in the electromagnet. As you increase n, the magnetic field will increase. So if you double the number of turns, the magnetic field will double in strength. If you triple the number of turns, the magnetic field will triple in strength. The second thing you can do to increase the strength of the magnetic field is to increase the amount of current that is flowing in a circuit. So if you can increase that, the magnetic field will increase proportionally. So those are the two things that you can do to increase the strength of your electromagnet. Increase the number of turns or increase the current that is flowing in a circuit. Now let's watch another demonstration of the electromagnet in action, but this time it's going to be oriented in the vertical direction as opposed to a horizontal direction. So it's going to lift up an object against the force of gravity. One thing that's worth mentioning is that this particular electromagnet is not very strong because in order for it to work, the screw has to be very close to the electromagnet. If it's too far away, it's not going to be strong enough to pull this, you know, the screw to the electromagnet. So that's one thing I do want to mention. It has to be close in proximity for that demonstration to work properly. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to build an electromagnet. It's very easy. You just need to add a lot of coils of wire on a metal screw and then apply a, a DC voltage of six or 12 volts. Make sure you use a high performance AA or AAA or even D-sized batteries that can really generate a lot of current because if the current is too low, the electromagnet may not work very well. So just keep those things in mind. So that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed already, 
uh, feel free to take a minute to do that. And also, if you're going to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to hit on that notification bell. And also, uh, don't forget to check down uh, the description section below this video because I'll be posting some other video content that has uh, other demonstrations and science experiments for those of you who might be interested in that stuff. So take a look at that when you get a chance. And thanks for watching.